majume ke jume di shaka lena le botse lena ke la morena she so ke re tumela nhle le amogelegile ka ramo ga di channel na no laola mo morato mo mtlale ye mo profit wa gai mo profit wa celestial wa le fatse o ile ngore o tsweri profesi go jwa go modimo o gona le le gone le o tlo re fa di taba go ba jona di warning or exposure to celebrities actors famous people will be exposed gore modimo o tlo pepesa tshohle ntongo lengwe ne di ga le swiswing bona o ka ba o tsebagala ga kakang o ra di politiki o na le yeng ha ona eng go modimo o leveleng e tshwana le batho ka moka go me modimo o tlo bea tshohle pepeneneng a re ithuta ka molomo wa modimo e lengena mo profeta ga bolela tabatse mmena lona re ithute o bane mo ke khalemelo na lona re a ithuta e bile re a itukisha re a ihlohlora re a itukisha re boela go modimo na go nya mafello yo a re go mo profeta celestial ga di ala hey re leboga modimo kana kwa o tshona le re leboga modimo ka ba profeta ba gagwe ti a dille god says If any person on this earth has shown sympathy to one who has been harmed I mean has shown sympathy to the one who harms people instead of the one who has been harmed he will reckon with you for that celebrities actors famous people will be exposed for their dark deeds and God says even small scale ordinary people he will expose them for he is disgusted with the amount of rape pedophilia and sexual molestation and crimes that are taking place in homes god says if any person any family member has covered up a rape allegation has gone to the victim and told the victim not to talk has convinced the victim not to press charges has covered for sexual abuse of minors or has made excuses even for the sexual abuse of an adult has even please hear the standard has gaslighted someone who tried to tell their story about this or made them feel that they are partly responsible for that sexual abuse that happened into them this is in capital letters please listen that person will be judged i've said kindly to many of you that you should take a break from this channel and you should go through your social media and you should think of all the comments that you've left across these internet streets where a sex scandal of a leader was exposed and then you will know well you know god will restore him it's his fifth scandal The wife's heart has been torn to shreds. But you're not there for the wife or the children who have been shamed. No, you're all about that fifth scandal pastor because you know, touch not my anointed Christians. You don't know this God. Some of you, many of you, you know the Lord and the fear of the Lord is upon you when you come to this channel. The fear of the Lord is upon me also because I know he's watching every single deed that I do. But many of us we are loose in our faith we don't know this god and so we just feel oh no well we're all human and and we all fall the leader is poisoning the sheep the sheep are falling dead from false prophecy the sheep are being slept with and then the pastors like and then the members are like well you know he's a man of god and we all fall how will you stand before jesus and explain this on the last day did you forget the bible verse that says we will answer for every word of our mouth did you not forget that david cried out to the lord and he said let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you are you ready to stand in front of the lord jesus christ and explain to him why it is that the pastors can defile the sanctuary and then you will say well defile it more man of god we're with you we're with you in fact we're so brave that you stood up and confessed how you molested that 16 year old girl and then you called it adultery and not rape which is what it is there are things you have defended 
you need to go and repent. You need to go and take a Bible, take your sister's Bible and read it for the first time, so-called Christian. Go straight to the book of Romans and read the whole of chapter one. Come to the last verse of chapter one, which is verse 32, that says, they knowing that those who do these things, which things, the things that I'm talking about here, those who do these things, the Bible says, this is New Testament, not old, are deserving of death. But instead of saying, Lord, judge for you are righteous you say we approve of those who do these things how will you stand when the sword is going after after the actual sinners who have done the sin when the sword comes to you do you really want to fall because your crime is that you support sin that you cover sin, that you get a bed sheet for sin and say, sin, don't feel bad. I'll keep you safe. I'm going to defend you online and I'm going to stand up for you. When anyone tries to expose you, I'll be there for you, sin. I'll back you up. I won't back up, Jesus. I'm going to curse the messenger and I'm going to curse the spirit that she's speaking of. The, the spirit that is that has sent her to expose the sin, but you sin, you can count on me. I'll be there for you, sin. Are you not afraid of God? Some of you Christians, you don't have fear of God. God says if any child has been abused because the parent is neglecting the child, it's on your head. God says if any child was abused and it's not because you're neglecting your child, it really wasn't your fault. You truly didn't know. He says, but when you found out who did it, then you were affected in your loyalty. So you love your child, your child has been abused, but now it came out and it's not the social worker. It's not the daycare teacher, it's granddad. Papa did it. Then God says, you take the side of the rapist. You take the side of the molester. You take the side of the abuser, not the victim. God says you must lift your voice and wail in grief and repent of your sin, of he or he will judge it in a way. Please listen. God says that you take the side, the wrong side. He says he will judge you in a way that the victim, even though what has happened to that victim, child or adult, there's some pain. It's very hard to fix that pain, but God says the way that he will deal with some of you who have supported those who do evil. He said that victim will feel sunshine in their heart. The victim will feel much satisfaction. The victim will feel much peace and the victim will feel so much hope. And God says that's because the victim will know that when sin is exposed, human beings will defend it but God will never defend it. God says these victims will know he is the defender of the weak. He says he will satisfy the pain of victims with the public shame and penalizing of the wicked and they will fall publicly in their wickedness. So you that doesn't like it, too bad for you. This is the word of the Lord to America. They hate me, they blaspheme my name, and they hate my word, and they drive my presence out of their midst. They are a despising people. That means when the word of the Lord comes, you spit on it, and God has told me this many times. Celestial, you prepare a plate for them, and they spit in it, but I see. All their abominations will come upon them, for they have multiplied their gods, and they sacrifice to these gods, and yet they dare to call themselves a Christian nature, nation. They hate my truth, and for this I will let their enemies fall upon them and destroy them. Because they have hated me, hated my son, I shall let Russia come here and burn this nation from one end to the other. It will be burned to a desolation. I say to you that as you walk around afterwards, it will be very hard to find any place that is not burned up or black with ash. God says that because America 
will not have anything to do with him. Ke tsepa go lotloga le mokwile mo profeta o tloga a di adile mme re a ithuta. Hey, re a ithuta hle. Modimo re a le boga. Go modimo go na go na le khanya. Manyala ke manyala. No cover up ya sebi. Go modimo go a hlwekwa. Mme re a le boga. Re a itukisha. Re le boga khalemelo. Gore re tsebe gore. Se sa lokang go modimo a se aloka. Go mme o ka se leke go cover and twist a lokang wa idira e lokileng. Mme re le boga prophecy ya modimo go bane injere a ga mme ke a tshepa gore lwena o ga rua a gega. Mme o ga rua e thuta. E bile wa itukisha. Jo lokang wana wa modimo gore re ye ke nako ya go itukisha ke nako ye modimo re file monyetla wa gore nna lwena re prepare go tleng ga morena Jesu go bana morena Jesu ena wa atla. Morena Jesu he wa atla bana ba modimo morena Jesu o tsileng ene o khauswi. Mme re ya le boga mo profeta re le boga modimo ka wena. A re kopaneng gape ka ramo ga di channel na go elatelang le nna o la go la mamorata o ka subscribe gore ga di tsena ta ba jesi ke tsa go feta re mela le ba bangwe hle ba di humane re ya di hloka re hloka go sherelana gore modimo a re humane re itukisitse a re le boge